We are shaped and fashioned by what we love most. Our Daily Bread. Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by Bill Crowder. In the 1920s, Bobby Jones dominated the golfing world, despite being an amateur. In one film about his life, Bobby Jones' Stroke of Genius, there's a scene where a professional golfer asks Bobby when is he going to quit being an amateur and grab for the money like everybody else does. Jones answers by explaining that the word amateur comes from the Latin amo, to love. His answer was clear. He played golf because he loved the game. Our motives, why we do what we do, make all the difference. This certainly applies to those who are followers of Jesus Christ. In his letter to the Corinthian church, Paul gives us an example of this. Throughout the epistle, he defended his conduct, character, and calling as an apostle of Christ. In response to those who questioned his motives for ministry, Paul said, Christ's love compels us, because we are convinced that one died for all, and therefore all died, and he died for all that those who live should no longer live for themselves, but for him who died for them and was raised again. Christ's love is the greatest of all motivators. It causes those who follow him to live for him, not for themselves. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading comes from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 11 through 17. Since then, we know what it is to fear the Lord, we try to persuade others. What we are is plain to God, and I hope it is also plain to your conscience. We are not trying to commend ourselves to you again, but are giving you an opportunity to take pride in us, so that you can answer those who take pride in what is seen rather than in what is in the heart. If we are out of our minds, as some say, it is for God. If we are in our right mind, it is for you. For Christ's love compels us, because we are convinced that one died for all, and therefore all died. And he died for all, that those who live should no longer live for themselves, but for him who died for them and was raised again. So from now on, we regard no one from a worldly point of view. Though we once regarded Christ in this way, we do so no longer. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ... The new creation has come. The old has gone. The new is here. That's today's scripture reading from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 11 through 17. Let's pray together now. Thank you, Jesus, for the gift of your unfathomable love, a love that you took to the cross on our behalf. Thank you that we are new creations through your sacrifice. May we never take that for granted. In your name we pray, amen. Have thoughts about what you've just heard? We'd love to hear from you. Let us know how our daily bread has inspired your daily walk with God by leaving a comment on today's devotional at odb.org. Thanks for listening. Today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.